Isaac Newton Sir Isaac Newton was a physicist, mathematician, astronomer, alchemist, theologian, and author, who is widely recognized as one of the most amazing and brilliant scientists of all time. Isaac Newton was born on January 4, 1643, in Woolsthorpe, Lincolnshire, England. His father was a wealthy farmer, also named Isaac, who died three months before Newton was born. A premature baby born tiny and weak, Newton was not expected to survive. Newton spent most of his early years with his maternal grandmother, after his mother remarried. Newton was taken away from school at age 12 by his mother, to turn him into a farmer. But Newton failed miserably, and he was soon sent back to King's School in Grantham, to finish his basic education. He enrolled at the University of Cambridge's Trinity College, in 1661. When Newton arrived at Cambridge, the scientific revolution of the 17th century was already in full force, and he was influenced by the writings of Galileo, Nicholas Copernicus, and Johannes Kepler. Newton graduated in 1665, but further pursuit of an education was interrupted, by an outbreak of the bubonic plague, that shuttered Cambridge. Newton returned home as Trinity College was closed for a couple of years, due to the highly contagious, deadly disease. During the time of the young Newton remained at home, was the most productive period of his life. He began formulating his theories on calculus, light, and color, and inspired his work on gravity. According to a popular legend, a young Isaac Newton was sitting under an apple tree, when he was hit on the head by a falling apple, that prompted him to suddenly come up with the theory of gravity. But there is no evidence to suggest, that any of the apples hit him on the head. In reality, Newton was sitting under the shade of an apple tree in his garden at Woolsthorpe, and saw an apple falling from the tree. This led him to ponder why apples always fall straight to the ground, rather than sideways or upward, and had prompted him to think about gravity. This observation inspired him to eventually develop, his law of universal gravitation. Newton wrote three laws of motion. These laws changed all of science, and are still used by scientists today. The first law states that, a stationary body will stay stationary, unless an external force is applied to it. The second law states that, the force on an object is equal to its mass times its acceleration. The third law states that, for every action there is always an equal, and opposite reaction. He showed that the force that makes the apple fall, and that holds us on the ground is the same as the force, that keeps the moon and planets in their orbits. To help explain his theories of gravity and motion, Newton helped create a new specialized form of mathematics, called calculus. Newton's ideas in calculus, are still used in a multitude of fields today, including, physics, chemistry, engineering, statistics, and medicine. In 1666, Newton began contributing to the field of optics. He began a series of experiments with sunlight and prisms. Through his experiments with refraction, Newton demonstrated that clear white light was composed of seven visible colors, the colors we see in a rainbow. Newton then created the world's first color wheel, which arranged different colors around the circumference of a circle. He is also credited, as the first scientist to explain the formation of a rainbow. His theory of optics, made him reconsider the design of the telescope. By using mirrors instead of lenses, Newton was able to develop the first successful reflecting telescope in 1668. It was more powerful, and ten times smaller than other telescopes of the era. Newton's telescope design is still used today for space observation, by both backyard astronomers and NASA scientists. In 1687, Newton published one of the most important scientific books in history, Principa, which features the three laws of motion and the law of universal gravity. From 1669 to 1701, Newton was a professor of mathematics at Cambridge. In 1703, he was elected president of a major scientific group called, the Royal Society. In 1705, he was knighted by Queen Anne of England, making him Sir Isaac Newton. In 1727, 
At age 84, Sir Isaac Newton died in his sleep. He was buried with full honours in Westminster Abbey in London. The Woolsthorpe Manor was converted into a museum, where visitors can see Newton's study, the room where he was born and its parlour. The world's most famous apple tree is still growing at Woolsthorpe Manor today, and known as Newton's Apple Tree, and which may now be 350 years old. The tree is visited by thousands of Newton admirers every year.